guys made a signing or uh, a loan acquisition earlier today. Can you talk about uh, that decision? Yeah, I mean it's been no uh, secret. We're trying to we, we're we're looking for a winger. Uh, you know, when you look at uh, Spree and Milano, we we feel like we have two very capable starters. Um, but uh, you know, from there, we don't have a ton of depth. Uh, so um, I've been looking for a guy that kind of fits what we want. We wanted a left-sided player, um, and we wanted someone that was young, uh, that had an upside as well. So you look at Barnby, uh, he's a young player. You know, he's younger than college guys coming out, but he's been a pro for several, several years, so he brings some experience, um, does have an upside, has a good pedigree, and he fits kind of the profile of what we're looking for. He's left-footed. He can play left wing, right wing play left back. He can even play central underneath the striker. When does he get here? Uh, hopefully end of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, you talked a little bit about uh, the different positions that Barnaby can play. Can you give us uh, maybe a little bit of an idea of like what, what attributes he, he brings as a player? Uh, yeah, he's uh, technically very good. Um, you know, the, the word that comes to mind is for me is functional. You know, he's played at a high level. You know, in a in a youth academy, one of the best in the world. You know, and and you know, in a in in around one of the best leagues in the world. You know, obviously hasn't cut his teeth in the Premier League yet. Um, you know, but uh, you know his pedigree of being around that league and being around those clubs, I think has has made him a tactically functional player. You know, so so he can play left wing, and he's going to be functional there. He's not going to be. Um, you know, like some young players that we've brought in, you know, uh, as raw, perhaps. You know, he's going to be smart tactically. He's going to have an educated left foot. Um, and uh, mentally, he's going to be a guy that I think comes right in and, uh, you know, you can plug in. So, and he has the ability, uh, like I said, to play left wing, left back, right wing, and underneath the striker. So, that always helps. I like I like the fact that we have guys that bring versatility. I uh what uh, what added dimensions does Barnby maybe bring to the team as a whole? Uh, is can you can you do anything with him on the pitch that maybe you couldn't with the guys you currently have? Um, I mean he's a left winger. You know he's different than Milano and Spria. You know he's a very good server of the ball. Um, you know he's quick. He's smart. Um, so I don't know that we do different things with him, but he brings different things. You know, he's more of a guy that's going to look to serve, um, beat guys and serve. And, you know, Milano obviously is more of a guy that looks to play like a second forward. Esprit is a guy that's going to look to go to goal and finish. Um, you know, so he's a well-rounded. I think he's a very well-rounded player. Um, you know, we still see him as a guy that's going to, you know, probably come off the bench. Um, but we need that depth. And we also see him as a guy that's going to get better because he's 21 years old. So there's always talk about college guys coming in, and a lot of them that come in are 22, 23. Yeah, he's 21, you know, so he's younger than a college guy you can get. And yet, like I said, he's been a pro for a couple of years. So um, he'll come in with that you know, professional experience, um, that professional mentality. And like I said, that f understanding functionally of how to play in a role. Um, you know, so I think he's different than some of the other signs we've we've gotten because he's younger but still somewhat experienced versus some of the young guys that we've gotten are a little bit any time they need to be you know, to learn the game, um, they're a little bit raw, you know. But Barnby we feel like's uh, you know, got the combination of youth and experience that, that we think will serve our club well and like I said, we just we needed some depth. So he gives us that depth and he also gives us the opportunity to take a look at him as well. If we want to keep him long term. Are you sure. expecting to have him for the full year? Um, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't know exactly how it's structured, but um, yeah, I think we expect to have him for a year and then make a deci decision from there. I know there's an option to buy. When's your? Uh, when do you think he might compete for? What game are you kind of thinking he might start competing for minutes? Um, well, it'd be here. I think end of the week, um, at the soonest. So probably not this game most likely the next game.